Good morning. I'm on my way out of the Cathor lands now. Uh, I've, I've put together about five, four, five, six maybe uh, small videos and um, I mentioned in one of them that I was going to go to uh, Randall Chateau but I, uh, I can't go to Randall Chateau, I just haven't got the time because I've got I've to make tracks as they say, I've got to head back to the north of the country so um, I just wanted to say a couple of things about Randall Chateau and um, one important thing just to keep with what I've been saying all along about the Gnostic Cathar belief in um, this world, the, the outer world, the material world, being the work of the, what they call um, Satan. Uh, not to keep dwelling on it, but just, it's just to reinforce something. The symbolism at Rennes Le Chateau is all about that. And of course, um, the uh, Sonia, the priest that discovered the scrolls and all the other stuff that, that was relating to Rennes Le Chateau, well, um, if you go in the church there, which I have now a couple of times, that's why I didn't go back this time as well, because I've, I've been to those places before. <clears throat> but in the church, there's a, uh, there's a, uh, a statue of uh, Asmodeus, the devil. And it says in the inscription, as you go in the door, this place is terrible, which on many, well, on two levels, relates to the church and the area being terrible, but it also reinforces the Cathar, agnostic uh, view of this place the the world is a terrible place and uh, you know I'll put a picture in there you'll, you'll see it I'll, I'll, if you've not seen it before and the whole of that region in terms of ley lines and uh, geography it's a very strange place anyway um, it's, it's like an interdimensional portal I mean there's parts of the land here that is absolutely gorgeous and then there's pockets of the most bizarre dark vile energy and where I was uh, yesterday in Mirepoix the, ch the cathedral there of Saint Maurice was absolutely awful the energy in there I put a couple of photographs on Facebook but you know when you think back to what went on in the area it's not surprising really so yeah I just wanted to mention that that I'm not going to, to around the chateau and, um, and I'm now heading well I made in direction Carcassonne again but I'm going to go to Nabon, I think, and then back up north. So uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, I will uh, talk to you later. If, if not, I'll talk to you back in England. Okay, bye. Here's another little bit of uh, road wisdom that came to me while I'm, while I'm driving, which is uh, my sat-nav is a little bit out of date, which, which is what I mentioned in the other, the other video. And it keeps telling me to go to places that must have been the route, I don't know, last time the software was updated. So here's a little bit of wisdom for you. And it relates to life. And it just came to me as I'm driving. If your inner voice, your intuition, is a little bit out, i.e. your sat-nav, then you've got to follow the signs. So what I like to do in life is follow the signs and listen to the, my intuition at the same time. Because if I had followed the sign back there, then I would have been on my way somewhere else. So, um, yeah. After 800 yards, there speaks the Alpha words of wisdom. So yeah, follow the signs, the signs of the times, and listen to your intuition. Okay, everybody knows that, but I just thought I'd say, I'm on my own, I'm amusing myself. See ya.